Good morning, Hal Hall Ames. Um, we're not going to be able to do my traditional visit this year, as you know, we all know that things are a little bit different. But I still want to read you my favorite Christmas story, and as I understand it, they have a few questions that you've come up with for me to um, answer. And we'll do that at the very end. All right, my favorite Christmas story is The Night Before Christmas. And the reason it's my favorite Christmas story is it's one of the few times I've ever been caught. And the gentleman that caught me asked if he could write this story about it. And I'm going to read it to you today. Have the elves and me coming into the village. There's the rooftops. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and my and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky, so up to the housetop as coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof, as I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler, opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying a finger alongside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle, but I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And there's the elves at the end. Now, one of the biggest questions I get asked after I finish reading this book is, why didn't I call Rudolph's name as one of the reindeer? And the reason I didn't call Rudolph's name is I didn't get Rudolph until the blizzard of 06. That's 1906, for those of you who might remember. And it was so bad with the snow, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face, and Rudolph's nose just pierced through that gloom. And to this day, it glows just as bright as it always have, 
We're not sure exactly why. He's just a special reindeer. But he does have an important job to keep me from getting run over by the jumbo jets out there nowadays. What do I do if my hat blows off? Well, you know, sometimes I'll go back and get it. Sometimes Miss Claus will make me another one. Um, I know where that's coming from. I know the movie that you guys have seen where Santa lost his hat and supposedly lost his powers. That's not how that works. Um, a rare occasion. Uh, he does like to keep to his schedule on Christmas Eve. She, she can kind of distract me sometimes window shopping. <laughs> Well, I start out over um, out out um, out towards the east a little bit. You follow the timeline around. You know, as as the sun comes up or goes down, rather, you can actually follow it along. There's 24 hours in a day, but I'm starting in one spot and I'm always following the, the night line. Um, if you have your teachers take a look at it, you can see how the globe turns and the sun follows around. It's always night everywhere I'm going, so I've got a full you know full day to do it. Plus, I'm really fast in elf coffee. That has never happened, but we do have plans if, if necessary. I have my flight team that I always use. There's a few more reindeer out there that can, can fly. If we necessary, we can take over. Not really. I mean, they're, they're big jokesters and pranksters, but it's all in fun. It's just not, never anything, you know, they, they don't do anything bad. <laughs> you can't survive off cookies alone. I get plenty of cookies on Christmas Eve, but the whole thing is, if I want Chinese food, I can just fly over to China to get it. So, we do it that way. Both. When is my birthday? Well, we figure I was born sometime in the year 300. We didn't actually keep, you know, calendars and, and dates back then, but it was generally in the spring of, of the year 300, as, as near as I can tell. You know what I have been known to, but the whole thing about any animal, any pet, that's a big family responsibility, and we have to check with mom and dad first, and sometimes mom and dad aren't quite ready to have a pet yet. The Grinch is very real. Um, he was at one time a very, very grumpy guy, but he has changed a lot when his heart grew a little bit bigger. I mean, he's, he's just really nice out there. You know what? I do plan on wearing one if it becomes necessary. We have done a whole extensive study. Elves are immune to this. I'm not necessarily immune. So what I'm going to do this year, and this is try, new try, so we're going to see if it works. I'm going to run the sleigh, I'm going to do, do the route, and the elves are actually going to do the in-house delivery, so that way we're not dealing with it. And I've got to have elves that are going to be sterilizing and all. If necessary, though, I will I will throw on the mask and do all the deliveries myself. I have never gotten stuck in a chimney because that's part of the magic. It just shrinks me down, down at the bottom. Well, if you look right here, I have this magic key. And what it does is it will fit any lock. Yes, I know it looks like an old-fashioned skeleton key, but when I try and put it in a lock, it fits. So that way I can get into anywhere. I can't fly. The reindeer, of course, fly due to the special reindeer moss they eat. They pull the sleigh and I've just, I'm just behind along for the ride. What I want for Christmas, I want everybody to be happy out there. That's, that's why I do what I do, and as long as y'all are happy, I've got everything I need for Christmas. Ding, 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 
you know what I can't bring in visitors because we're just so busy and it may not be the safest thing to do because of all the work that we're doing I mean you have to duck your head frequently elves aren't but about this tall and when they're carrying things it's not even just the head you know you you just got to watch out for them but there have been people up to the North Pole they just can't find the workshop okay that's that's a good question I kind of touched on that they like oats, they like corn, they like occasional carrots, apple is a snack. But the special thing is, is a reindeer moss. I'm sure your teachers can look it up for you. Most reindeer moss is just regular reindeer moss growing on rocks and, and whatnot. Well, we feed the, um, the sleigh team an actual special one that kind of glows a little bit. I know where everybody lives. I have a KPS, Kid Positioning System. Even if you're not home, I can find where you are. I've never counted, but I eat all of them. How do I get batteries in the North Pole? Same way we do everything else. We make it. The elves are pretty busy. They're the ones making the toys, packing everything up, and all like that. Um, if you've ever seen a kid about this tall, you've pretty much seen an elf, only they look a lot older and wiser. I've enjoyed um, visiting with you all today. I wish we could have actually done it in person. It's always more fun that way, but you know, sometimes we got to make some changes and we got to adapt to what's going on. I look forward to delivering all your presents and hopefully next year we'll be able to get to see each other.